This thing is cool. Wait till you see what it is and who it's made by. On the Ram Promaster, I think it's the first time they built on this chassis. Let me show you this. This is the Range Line by Airstream. This thing is so cool. We're coming at you from the Hershey RV Show, nation's largest RV show, September 2022. This is the brand new 2023 Range Line by Airstream based on the ProMaster chassis. So cool. Comes in two flavors, standard and a pop top, which is pretty amazing. We'll look at that here in just a moment. This is just a quick walkthrough. We're gonna do a detailed walkthrough with one of the manufacturer reps here shortly, but let me just kind of give you a quick perusal of what this is all about. Ram ProMaster, 3500 chassis, very innovative floor plan, very much like a 59G old style. Has a bed set up at the back, so hallway, garage storage, put out your Murphy bed type of situation. Full bed, wait till you see this bathroom. Huge galley and a permanent table, which I really love. Here's some of the specifications. Pretty standard stuff on the Ram ProMaster. Here's the tank capacities. 20 gallons fresh, 19 gray, 12 black. Does not have a lithium system that I'm aware of at this point. We'll get confirmation of that, but it's pretty cool. Let me show you around quick. Looking at the outside, we have the running board. It has a dog leash thing, which is pretty cool. Very sturdy running board. Uh, the awning is mounted on the side versus like this, which is kind of interesting. It does have some windows that open. We'll see that inside. But this is basically a uh, window van. The awning is a uh, tool crown. It does have legs attached to the van here. It looks like they've increased the cellular situation up here. We'll get some details on that. Pretty standard stuff. I'm seeing no ladder. I'm seeing no bike rack back here. And on this side, very stealthy. Uh, chrome tipped generator guessing. We'll get some detail on that. On our detail walkthrough with the factory rep. You don't want to miss that. And then down here, is smart plug tanks gray and black and then this you unscrew and this exposes wait for it yes ladies and gentlemen all your water options and they even have a little led light here which is kind of cool so let's water in this too is water in i can't tell which one is fill and which one is tank uh, then you have your spray port, which is pretty awesome. Um, so brand new. We're going to have the manufacturer rep walk us through this. But that's where you do your water business. Cleverly concealed with your thumb screw. All right. Not much else over here. Got a window cut in. And a window cut in. Let's jump inside. From the outside, it's kind of familiar up front permanent table with an extension i see some mood lighting going on down here you can see that it has this really lovely woven vinyl not vinyl but like polyester rug some really cool cubbies those are super helpful i love this handle idea to get in scream that's familiar to some travato people and a really nice wide entry point I guess you got to hold this handle to get in and this is not the pop top version let's look at the great room we got some storage here those are really sturdy hinges holy cow that will stop a train blacked out windows cool three-point seat belts with an appropriate looking and feeling jump seat look at this hello Winnebago that's a thing of beauty that's got to be at least as long as mine uh, table which is about four feet this way super nice so you spin the seats around here and you can easily get one two three four 
people sitting around this table. It's kind of what it looks like down here. And it also looks like you can move this just a little bit. They've got these bugs everywhere here. So weird, so gross. Um, but if you can see the track back here, um, this is not permanent to the floor here. Uh, so you can move this back and forth, which is pretty smart. Let's see if we can fold this back up. And just like that, there we go. No TV up front. There is storage above. And kind of a signature Airstream situation is the brushed aluminum. We have a Firefly system here for all your tank and uh, RV systems. This is the timber line. This is the furnace situation turning our attention to the galley where's the cooktop well the cooktop would be right here so induction cooktop plug in when you need it i'm really taking a shine to that idea these days and then lots of storage trash can whoa look at that and this is a place where you put your bags for your trash can. That's cool. So continuing with the galley, some hooks here, which is great to hang keys. Just really well thought out. Here's their uh, music system solution. Bluetooth speaker. Can't find the brand. I'm guessing it's Bose. A little cabinet up above. Line. Man, that is a strong hedge. Cubbies, again, for destroying stuff quickly. Faucet, perfectly placed in the corner, out of the way. <laughs> Check out the sink, very doable, with a cover, bamboo. So this is a really long galley. This is gonna be at least three feet from here to here. I really like the placement of this faucet, totally out of the way. Most people put it here. What they've done here is put power, you can see that, which is really, really awesome. Uh, super not wide, but wide enough for one person to get past. And if you've got two people passing in the hallway, you're gonna do a little, uh, booty shuffle here, uh, but that's okay. Really, really nice up front. Let's look at the bathroom. Bathroom's right here. Look at this, boys and girls. This is something else. So here's the door. Here is your commode, a standard wet flush RV toilet. <laughs> Here is your shower situation. Hey buddy, peace be with you. Here's my not so awesome folding sink because you gotta do a lot of cleaning to keep all this clean back here. But it does have a faucet. And this is, so here's your faucet, it folds in and out. That makes much better sense. I was like, what? You gotta take a shower head to brush your teeth? Crazy. Uh, so that's cool, that's clever. Space saving and a diverter here to make it go either way. And then this just folds up out of the way when not needed. Pretty smart. Mirror, there's your TP holder. Let's run the, so we're sitting. Yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. This is fairly reminiscent of my 59G old floor plan um, bathroom. What's great about this is it's all plastic, so there's no need for a shower curtain. And this is just really, really cool. A lot of seams, a lot of seams, but assuming they've been appropriately contained, this is gonna be great. A shower with no curtain, that's so great. Two lights. And one light, let's open this up so we can see what's going on. That is really smart. And then one light is above the mirror, so you can at least see what is going on, which is really, really cool. Uh, so very nice bathroom. Can definitely stand, shower, great toilet. What a home run on this. Kind of cool that a window, but there's glass on the other side. Let's keep moving. That's what it looks like again with the... Uh, Door shut. Super smart. Way to go, Airstream. Storage. A little storage here. Just a little bit. And this is probably going to be wardrobe or more storage. And then down here is probably access panel. Oh, a step. Look at that, integrated step to get into bed. 
That's pretty interesting. Look at that. So an integrated step to get into bed and out. Very clever. Rounding out the galley. A little more storage up here. We have a standard microwave. Fridge, this is by the Trigo. This is becoming more popular. And it does have a sizable fridge. You can definitely get a 12 pack of beverage in here. Freezer. Uh, you really can't get much of an ice bag in there, but pretty big. Pull out situation there. Door can definitely accommodate half gallon on that bottom section. And let's see what goes on in here. Dog bowls. Or repurpose if you don't have pets. But that's kind of kind of clever. I don't know. What do you think of that? All right, so that rounds out the galley. So what are you thinking about this van? I really like it. I really like it. Bathroom, full-size table, great galley. Let's check out the bedroom. This is cool. Into the bedroom. What do we have here? Lots of storage up above. Let's look at that quick. With fully lined bottom and top and side. Really well done. Why that's important is it grabs things. It keeps things from rattling and moving around. Super smart. Fortunately, no cabinet here. Normally people put a cabinet out and it sticks out like this and just makes this space so much less open. Storage. Storage. Still no television. I'm actually kind of liking that. Here's a strange mount for something. We'll get some details on that. And then the bed, the way the bed is going to make up is that this cushion here comes across with the, the system that goes on to this side. We'll wait for the, uh, you have to wait for the other video where the gentleman is doing the work. I don't want to mess this up. Let's just look at some more storage. Storage. Uh, no, this is a place to put stuff when you're cooking, maybe? I don't know, what do you think? It's kind of interesting. Floor lighting, super great. Lots of cubby space here. Circuit panel, storage space. And on the back of the doors, you can see the mole um, panel where you can bungee cord stuff to this, which is pretty cool. Big old screen, blackout. Yeah, sorry about that, not being able to operate this. I don't want to get into the bed without them helping me. So you have to watch the video with a walkthrough, but this essentially would lie flat and you sleep east to west as they call it. Now the vans are about six feet wide, so you're not going to be super, um, if you're super tall, not super comfortable without doing kind of a you know, fetus position, if you will. But I really like this. So bedroom, huge amounts of garage storage, amazing bathroom. Very functional galley. And then a great room with a permanent table. This is a thing of beauty. So that is the range line by Airstream, brand new. First time I think they've ever built on a ProMaster chassis. And I'm so glad they did. Uh, this is the pop top. Let me show you this quick. Same basic idea. This has the different color scheme. So clearly the granite. Bright silver, bright silver apparently comes with blue seats. The big difference here is gonna be the pop top, which they don't have open, but that's where you go up for the ladder, which is kind of really taking up a lot of space. So you're either putting the ladder up to get up and then you're taking it down, but same galley, same table situation, same seat situation. Galley, bathroom. Did I mention you can stand up in this? Yeah, this is really smart. I'm impressed. Storage, bed system. It's all the same, except for the pop top. It does have an air conditioner, which is a little unusual for a pop top, 
but super impressed. No Volta system. We'll get the full details uh, from the manufacturer rep. So hope you enjoyed that quick walkthrough of the brand new 2023 Airstream Rangeline. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This would be on my list. It needs a Volta system. Maybe we can sweet talk them into getting a Volta in here, but uh, this floor plan to me is a pretty big home run. Good job, Airstream. Comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of it. It's very important. Till we see you soon, wish you to journey on and peace be with you. See ya.